Hi guys, welcome back. Um, if you want to see more updates on a BMW E70 X5M, um, please feel free to hit that like and subscribe. Um, if you're new here, um, please feel free to check out the other videos as well. And I've got a few more coming up. Um, that are hopefully going to give it a bit more presence and a bit more stance. Um, today was all about changing. I say today, it actually took about three weeks to do this. Um, time's been a bit precious and with it being really dark and cold outside, it's quite difficult. Um, changing my uh, interior look and feel. Um, so everyone wraps all their interior stuff uh, and I'm no different, I've done a wrap. Uh, I've gone for carbon fiber, um, obviously no different from everyone else, but the difference is mine's forged carbon fiber. Um, so I got a rather expensive roll of forged carbon fiber um, vinyl from a company here in the UK. Um, and I've put that across my, my current or my existing trim was um, the brushed aluminium, which I'm sure everyone with an E70 with a brushed aluminium knows marks really badly. It gets scratched, dented, it's just soft. Mine was actually coming away as well. So on the rear, um, on the rear passenger side door, the trim was delaminated from the actual unit and it was peeling up. So on the back corner, it actually folded away. And on the center console, um, the whole thing was basically coming off. So, um, you know, if you, if you caught it or touched it, it was actually rattling against the, the backing. Um, so I need to take all that off and um, uh, glue it back in place before wrapping it. Um, so if you're gonna do this, um, it's not a quick job. So in order to um, wrap them, you can do it in situ. It's easier to take them off if you wanna do it properly because then you can get around behind. I had to take mine off um, to, to fix them, so I thought I might as well do everything. Um, the, the center console trim um, down there, down the middle, was actually the hardest. Um, actually trying to get to the point where you could take off those uh, the, the leather knee bolsters and get those out. One of them was actually broken, so I think someone's been in there before. Um, the driver's side one, uh, I'm in the UK, the driver's side one uh, was a bit of a squeeze. You have to use like an angle socket to get in there. Uh, I've still not put it all back together, but um, yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the backside to be honest. Um, like I said, it took me about three weeks to do all this. Anyway, <clears throat> um, it's all done now. Um, I'm gonna sort of run you through. In order to do the door cards, to take them off, you actually have to do take the door cards off because the trim bolts on through from the other side. Um, so um, I also found that I had to buy some more um, cheap um, door push connectors um, to replace the ones. There was a couple that snapped um, as I was coming off. I don't know whether the door cards had been off before. Um, and you've got to be really careful removing all the connectors and, and just sort of make sure you know what goes where and actually putting them back on. <laughs> it should be fairly straightforward. It's actually a bit of a pain in the ass. Anyway, I'm going to start waffling. Um, thank you very much. Um, I hope you enjoy this. I'll see you at the end. Oh, I can't see him. Right, let's try and get this center console out. So you have to remove the, the unit here. I'm trying to get a better shot of that. So um, there's a previous video where you just basically 
pry this up and then I've left the uh, drive controller um, loose so that can control stuff. Um, so that's up, then I've got to take this off, which apparently you just got to be really brave and pull really hard, which is a bit terrifying really. How on earth are you supposed to get this back in afterwards then? Oh Jesus! And that is then supposed to reveal. So then I guess you can take this cover off. That's not coming. How on earth does that come off then? Do I need to take this off as well? Is that the same size? Of course it's bigger. So does that look like... That's holding that, that's holding that. So basically you've got um, one here. So the side says one just in front of the armrest there. There's one at the back of the armrest back here so you have to pop a little cover off and then you take the armrest cover off and then there's they're up here in the front you remove those but it's like I've got to get this off as well and I don't have the right size bit I hope this is right because it feels really wrong. I might as well go ahead and take out both sides because I've got to do both sides of the trim anyway. something in a second. Oh, wow, so you do, you just have to be quite, quite strong with it.
<clears throat> okay, right, final bit to do. So I need to just stick this back as well. I've changed my um, start button, so you probably can't see that. I'll show you afterwards. Um, actually, let's do that down. <clears throat> so the start button's fairly straightforward to do if I take this off. Um, essentially, you need to take this off, and while you've got this off, just pull. Uh, there's um, a little clip so you get a little screwdriver in here on the side that bezel comes off and then this whole thing if you get a really thin um, flat blade screwdriver you can get behind it and it just pops off and then you just put a new cover on and it takes literally I don't know two minutes to do it's really really easy but that's not what we're here to do we're here is it recording? we're here to finish the wrap so I'll put those back on. So I've done everything around the car. Uh, I've got a new toy as well. So I'm recording in 360 now. So I might just do a little spin around the car and show you. Um, but I've got these in, I've got these in. I just need to get these a bit nicer because they're, they're sitting funny and it's rubbing on the... I think I can see it's there that it's not clipped in properly. Um, but it rubs on the thing. I've also taken my... Um, uh, phone cradle out and I've got a blanking plate to go in there but we'll do that afterwards so in the meantime I just need to do this so last time I tried this my power was flat and everything so anyway I've already cut or pre-cut the uh, material let's just put that down so I'm just gonna lay this over and then we'll start pulling and poking and prodding and making it fit and trim it. So that feels like a right, so let's pull it back in off. And that's where the video stops. God knows what GoPro are thinking of, um, but I can't do anything more with the video. I can watch it on the camera, I just can't do anything more. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, the whole thing's done, and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm, I'm really, really pleased with the way it looks. Um, it's made the cabin a little bit darker, but I think it looks so much more modern. Um, I'm over the moon with it. Um, if you've done something similar with yours or if you're struggling feel free to um, hit us up in the, the comments down below or send us a dm or whatever you do on youtube i don't think you have dms on youtube do you no um feel free to get in contact and i'll, I'll see if i can impart my wisdom um i did get some assistance um from a colleague um delmir thank you very much and um, you point me in the right direction um yeah um thank you very much for sticking around this long um if you have enjoyed it please feel free to hit that like and subscribe um, I've got lots more coming up. I'm going to hopefully be giving the car a bit of a, a stance, uh, giving it a bit more burble, um, and hopefully getting onto those turbos and uh, trying to get some more power out of this baby as well. And we might even lose some weight along the way as well. We'll see. Um, but anyway, thank you very much. If you've made it this far, give us a hash brown still listening. If there's something else you want to see on the car or something that you think that I've done wrong, um, you know, let us know in the comments down below. Um, I'm always open to learn. Um, anyway, that's enough from me. Thank you very much. And I'll see you the next time. Cheers, guys.